In the long debate on who is smarter, dogs or cats, dogs might have just received some good news. So if you are a cat person, the next minute or so might bring in some sad news to you. A 2017 study published in Frontiers in Neuroanatomy looked at the number of neurons in the cerebral cortex, which can be used as a major determinant of biological and cognitive capabilities. The scientists looked at the brains of one or two individuals from the following species. Ferret, mongoose, raccoon, cat, dog, hyena, lion and brown bear. Dogs have significantly higher numbers of neurons than cats, especially if we are referring to a large dog. Larger numbers of neurons in the cerebral cortex suggest that dogs have a cognitive advantage over cats. And this is how my cat Poppy reacts to me saying this. In terms of numbers, dogs have approximately 530 million cortical neurons, while cats have about 250 million. The science also found that the brain of a golden retriever has more neurons than a hyena, a lion or a brown bear, even though those animals have bigger brains. Looking at these animals' brains also showed that domesticated animals are similar to their wild cousins regarding the ratio of brain size to body weight. The scientists were expecting to find more cortical neurons in the brains of carnivores than in the brains of herbivores, but that was not the case. They ended up finding a similar amount of neurons in both carnivores and herbivores. Now let's talk about the poor brown bear. A small and expected number of cortical neurons was found in the brain of the brown bear. The brown bear had a very respectable sized brain, but with only a fifth of the number of neurons that you would expect to find in a brain that size. The bear's brain is 10 times larger than a cat's, but has about the same number of neurons that you would find in a cat's brain. Now let's talk about the star of this study. Raccoons. Raccoons showed has a non-typical carnivoran, a small brain but with a high number of neurons, as many as one would expect to find in a primate. The raccoon's brain packs the same number of cortical neurons as a dog into the brain that is the size of a cat's. Go raccoons! Another study looked at how human attention affects the facial expression in domestic dogs. In this study, 24 dogs were used and they were filmed using a special technique that specializes in detecting subtle facial changes. The person near the dog could be oriented towards the dog, distracted or turned away from the dog. Some of the conclusions of this study were that dogs move their faces in direct response to human attention. Dogs don't respond with more facial expressions when presented with tasty food. What that might mean is that facial expressions produced by dogs might be an active attempt to communicate with us, not a simple emotional display. And then we have the old brow raising of puppy eyes. This was the most commonly used facial expression by the dogs used in this study. The scientists also mentioned that a dog's facial expression might have changed over time as part of the process of becoming domesticated. A 2009 study published in the Journal of Veterinary Behavior, Clinical Applications and Research tried to address the issue of dominance-based training. The researchers were trying to find whether a dominance-based training approach would be a useful construct or a bad habit for people interacting with dogs. The researchers spent six months observing and collecting data at a British rehome center where the dogs were allowed to freely interact with each other. They then reanalyzed the data from previous studies of feral dogs before coming up with their conclusions. The researchers concluded that individual relationships between dogs are learned through experience and they are not motivated by a desire to assert dominance. They also mentioned that dogs do not show 
any motivation to maintain their place in the pecking order of their pack. Furthermore, the researchers say that training approaches aimed at dominance reduction can be useless or they can actually be quite dangerous and likely to make behaviors worse. Many dogs have learned to show aggression simply to avoid an anticipated punishment. A 2017 study published in the journal Animal Behavior was designed to measure reasoning about the social and physical world as well as other cognitive processes in dogs. The authors then used the data obtained to compare it to previously obtained data in another study with human infants and chimpanzees. There were 25 different problem-solving tasks in this study, including arm pointing, visual discrimination, detail navigation, among others. The authors found a striking socio-cognitive similarity between dogs and humans. The authors also mentioned that a dog's cooperative and communicative comprehension resembles that of a human infant. In terms of possible explanations, one of the ones that the authors put forward is that there might be a similar selection for high social tolerance and reduced aggression that might have occurred both during the human evolution and the process of dog domestication.